Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. A couple more floors of the Temple of the Ocean King will be done this part. And they're gonna be new to us, so... Oh boy! Oh, okay, they're not new to me. <laughs> Alright, so... So, so... Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go in. I could also go back up there to collect those stuff in the pots by opening the pot, you know, the thing in the ground there. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so... We've got something new, and this is gonna be a kind of a time waster on your clock because you've got moving platforms. And make sure you have a shield here, because this blocks these spears instantly. Otherwise, you're gonna have to swing your sword at them, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> hey, Link, did you hear something? This floor makes a sound when you run on it. The phantoms, they'll hear us! But the floor didn't make a sound when you walked. I get it, you have to walk slowly on these floors and there's a phantom nearby. Alright. But there's not a phantom nearby, so I can run around, run around, run around. Woohoo! So yeah, when you're running, it can attract phantoms on these specially weird floors. I don't know what they're made of, but they make dinging sounds and it's dangerous. Uh, let's take a peek see around here very carefully. Uh, so this is what is mainly the time waster in all honesty because you got a uh, lot of waiting to do with those stinkers. And I think there's also a hint somewhere around here. Oh no, it must be on the other floor, okay. Well, that is all right because I'm going down the floor and it looks pretty similar in design, but this is it's actually quite different, you'll see. Um, it's gotta wait for that one to go around, you know, the red one. Uh, it's very, very important that you pay attention to your map on this, on these next three floors here. Like all the three floors that we're working on here. Because a lot of things are timing based and it's very, very important for our, uh, going zons here. And I'm gonna get seen, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get him out of the way, as long as I was passing by anyway. Uh, as long as he doesn't go back, no, he is going back the other way. Well, well, there's always this, I guess. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All I want to do is come up here for this for one thing. There is a plus 30 there, so guess what? Yeah, that, that was pretty horrible. <laughs> that's, that's what's guess what? Plus... Three, zero, there we go, that looks much better. See what happens when you slow down on a tablet? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do my stunning tactic again, I guess. Let's wait for his back his turn, that should be, yep, there we go. And as long as he's stunned too. I found the, the circle pedestal, but where is the circle crystal? So yeah, you might want to mark down circles and triangles and squares. I should have made a note to remind myself. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here, and uh, how did that phantom get to that other side? Hmm, were you paying attention? I don't believe that phantoms walk on air. If I had courage, I could cross to the other side. Well, I don't have that sort of courage, so let's just go over here and uh, see this floor. We're gonna notice that we're... we're so oh no! Yeah, this is back the other way. <laughs> I'm just resetting the phantom's position. Oh, it resets over here. Well, I don't feel like waiting that long, so I'll just show you. Over here, there is a pathway that you can actually walk. And what you'd like, I'd like you to do is mark that pathway so that you know exactly where it is. Thusly. And there you go. Now you, you'll be able to walk right across there every time without having to worry about the phantoms and whatnot. Um, I don't think I want to go up there just yet, but I do want to go this way. This has led to the other side, and there's no invisible barrier thing there this time, so yeah. Um, now, what we got here is a timing-based puzzle of sorts. We gotta make sure that we get this one stunned while this one is going back around the other way, so we're not, we're not seen by it. So we gotta wait for it to turn over to the right. Well, this one is moving back the other way, pre preferably along this path here, so it's out of our way when we get up to this fire here. Got it? Good. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, I think it's safe to move, so I'm gonna get in position, and hit that there. Now, what we gotta do here is hit that. I guess you could maybe draw a boomerang path around that, but that's just much, much safer. And now we gotta run through here, and... 
hopefully this will be here in time. There we go. Yeah, it always gets there in time based on uh, the timing of things if you run. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal. There we go. And now the reason why I wanted to come here is because there's something right over here. Well, besides that plus 30 here, which we should mark on the map. Plus three zero. That's decent. But what we came here for is something important. It is around the crystal. And that's where it goes into that other one on the other floor. And there's... Uh, all, the, all the varieties of crystals are in this particular area of the Temple of the Ocean King. So we've got ourselves a scavenger hunt. Oops, a scavenger hunt of sorts. I want to I want to talk. No, I want to talk. So strange. I can't find the key. It would be so easy if I could just bring it down from the floor above. Hmm. 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 That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right. So now over here, might want to mark that there is a safe spot here. In fact, I should probably have marked... Uh, oof, terrible ass, terrible ass, I'm doodling too quickly today. And we go to the floor above, there was a safe, oh, wait, 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 hold on. There was a safe zone right here, I should say a safe pot right there, there we go. Just gotta mark those things for the future, and I'm not gonna let him pick that up, because he will pick up the crystal and that will be annoying. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that one to turn to his back. Oh, shoot! Well, okay. <laughs> That's fine, it's fine. Everything worked out just fine. And... Wait, did I talk to that other one up above here? I think I did. I'm just gonna chuck that there. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> not right now. But I'm pretty sure I did talk to him. Um... Okay, so now I gotta get this... That crystal there. So... By the way, uh, when you're carrying something, you don't have to worry about trying to run or anything like that because you're not going to be able to. So you're not going to attract the phantom's attention on these dinging floors here. Alright, so now that we've gotten to this point, by the way, there's a plus 30 there you might want to mark down. But we don't really have access to it right now, but I guess I will do that. Alright, so I'll just ding my way through there and hitting this switch... Oh, I guess we do have access to that, huh? Um, that's worth getting then. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, so I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna preferably stun him, actually, but I gotta wait till his back is turned, of course. Get in position. <laughs> there you go. And now. We go around these, and it w for some reason it will not see us up here, but it will be able to hear sounds. I, d I don't understand that, in all honesty, but yeah, it'll, it'll go all the way around here when I make a sound, but it, it, it won't actually be able to do anything about it, so it's actually s completely safe up here. <laughs> Alright, now over here is another crystal that we need. Whew, we've come far. It'd be nice if this the last floor, but let's keep going. Uh huh. But this is what we came for. This is the triangle crystal. Oh yes. So let's mark a triangle on our map here. There we go. It's always nice when I can mark things on the first try. <laughs> and let's go up here. What the? Oh no. A square pedestal. What is this? Blasphemy. Okay, I guess I'll mark that too. That's a decent square. I can tell that's a square. <laughs> Alright, so that triangle one, it's gotta go over there. I just know that ahead of time because I've played the game before, so... Yes, now I gotta figure out a way how to get there with the phantoms roaming the hallways. And my way of doing it would be to wait until that blue one turns the other way. And then follow the red one. Well, actually no, I won't follow the red one around. I'll, I will go here and burn a little time because that's... Yeah, he's gotta do his rounds. It's gonna go down, so I'm gonna go up, and oh, 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 you can actually feel where the invisible floor is, because you won't automatically jump into said invisible floor automatically. I don't, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that's there. Oh no! <laughs> that was bad move! And that other one already grabbed my triangle crystal. Okay, so, 
I need to get that triangle crystal back. <laughs> hey, how's it going there, triangle crystal holder? Oh, I've got it back. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, do not go there. I was watching my map too much. Do not, I'm gonna actually scribble that out or something like that. Yeah, that's a pit. Don't want to go there. And uh, actually, I should scribble it out completely. Oh, crap, it's a trap. <laughs> that is That has never been more appropriate than that moment in time. Okay. So, there we go. At least we didn't lose uh, that much time or anything like that. The phantom just kind of flopped around on their own volition. Alright, so I, got, uh, I guess I'll talk to you. I walked on an invisible floor and got this far. An invisible floor! But then I got trapped in a pit. I can't believe my luck. Uh, I probably should have chatted with him first. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna need to grab that, and I'm all, I should have actually thrown that pot further on there. But okay, there's a safe zone here, and I know there is the triangle thingajigger there, so... That's a weird triangle, but it looks like a triangle, so I'm keeping it. Um... Like, I guess I could speed him along by going up here. Uh, plus 30 right there. So I guess I could mark that ahead of time. Why not? And he's not gonna be... He's gonna see me. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna go back the other way. Uh, I hope he doesn't turn left. Okay, he didn't turn left. <laughs> so while he's doing that, I am going to go and get my bombs out. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot. <laughs> And now, oh no, that's bad news. I'll take that hit, fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not that concerned about it. Alright, so, oh, I, I can't, oh, I pop back out here? Oh, that's actually worse than I thought. I was gonna, thought I was gonna pop out over there, but I, I forgot this was the last set of stairs that I, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, boopers, scoopers. Uh, well, I can at least run by this phantom. Uh, oh, shoot! I just realized, yeah, I uh, had the wrong item out there. And I should have my... Shoot, 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 shoot! <laughs> well, actually, this is alright, because I'll just come around this way, and then I'll be able to do this sort of dealio. Yeah. <laughs> and you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, I still gotta get the crystal from this one here, so there we go. <laughs> that works out nicely. And I think that thing that I bombed is still bombed, so... We are kicking it. Yep, that is good. And that opens those spikes. Which will allow us to get that treasure chest over there. But how do you get that treasure chest over there? Well, this is... You can tell by the floor there, it's a little bit different. It's a courage gem! Yeah! Now I'm gonna go run back to that safe zone in front of the triangle pedestal because I'm gonna be seen very quickly. <laughs> um, I wonder if I can hit it from here, but there's a switch. Is it switched all the way over? No, I can't. That is too bad. And he's gonna stop at this and then turn around. Oh, yeah. oh I thought he was gonna... well, that's okay then. I just need to hit something over here. Oh shoot. I guess I can't use my boomerang at all. After all, uh, can I run over to that door? Maybe. Uh, I probably. I'll probably be seen. Oh no, I wasn't seen. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now this is gonna spawn something new on this floor. Hey! Hey, how's it going? I felt something behind me, but I turned around and nothing was there. Next thing I knew, the sand in the hourglass was powerless. What? I don't think he's talking about the phantoms. Is there something else around here? Be careful. Watch the map. Watch the map. Oh, yep, there's four things hanging around here. Those are whiz robes. And, uh, they are quite the dangerous critter. If you turn your back, look at that. They come towards you like a boo. And you can attack them with your boomerang. Now, each of them contains 30. So you might want to attract them purposefully. Just, just not only get them out of the way, but to, uh, oh! But to get 30 out of that, just saying. Alright, so, there's a, I guess you could say, plus 30 on all corners. And that one in the middle's carrying a square. But I can actually drop him out of existence. <laughs> but yeah, a killing off the wizard robes are very much worth it, if you can do so without taking a hit from them, because they'll cut uh, time off your phantom hourglass. So yeah, um, I'm gonna... 
Oh yeah, there's that there. I'll turn that around. And then we hit this. Oh, I gotta time it better. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's not gonna work like that. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I just need to have my back turn here. There we go. Yeah, it, it, it closes when its back is turned. <laughs> It's a tricky one. I wish the cr square crystal was on this floor. Well, it is. I left the circle and triangle crystals on the floor above. And we need those. Oops, hold on a sec. I need, I need, I need these. And I'm gonna turn around the corner here. It's gonna be attractive, but I don't know which direction it's gonna come to. Okay, it's going around that way. Okay, it's gonna go that way, okay. As long as I'm behind the wall, I'm okay. And now... This wall, this wall looks bombable, but it's actually not. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I, I still want you here, actually. No! I want you here. Just around this side, please. Because you have this... You have the square? You square? <laughs> no, I... Take that. Oh. Come back here. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, it blocks that area, just like the ones with those uh, force gems, but that's okay. I'm not really interested in going up there just yet. Yeah, come on, come on, gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> yeah, there's the other f couple wizard robes hanging around here. Uh, I'll leave that in the safe zone because it's, well, safe. <laughs> and then I will get my boomerang out and attract the wizard robes. Yeah! There we go. I'll get this other one here. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't go down. Down is death. Have you, haven't you ever heard that before? Now, killing them all off will, well, <laughs> will give you a treasure chest, but I can't get what's in there just yet. Because, yeah, he's hanging around there. Yeah, that's why there's swift phantoms. They go around like crazy. And I got a wisdom gem. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is grab that square. And oof. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, that would be useful if I hit it there, and he's gonna go around to that side. He's not gonna actually gonna see me, because I'm gonna loop around this way. And I, oh, wait, 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 wait. Stay behind the wall. He goes in a figure eight fashion around these safe areas. There we go. Now, um, this is where the puzzle gets even trickier. Because you have to bring the crystals from the other floor down to here. Now, in order to do that, we've got to do a rigmarole around this area. The pedestals here are a set of three. Even if you set the crystal, change floors and they will fall out. <laughs> so yeah, we got ourselves a multi-floor puzzle going on here. Now, I, I put that crystal over there because I want to take, at least preferably, um, the, the triangle crystal through that. So I'm going to grab the triangle crystal. And, well, actually, I could take it through here, couldn't I? Yeah, I think this might actually be a little easier, because he's going to do the loop-de-loop -loop around the lower area while I take the upper area, and then I can throw it over in the safe zone here. So I guess I'll plop that in there. It doesn't really matter if it goes in. Um, now, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, he goes around that way. Whoops. <laughs> Well, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'm just gonna flop right through here and then go around. Oh, he, he, he I guess I lost him. <laughs> I'm gonna go around here and I'm gonna have to take the um, circle crystal over to... Can I shoot him from up here? I don't think I can, but that would be grandiose. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I need to take the circle down through the stairs the other way. And I'm wasting time on my phantom hourglass here. Because I, I should have stayed in the safe zone. See, now when you take that out, it brings the spikes back up. So now you have to take this through the other way, because the spikes came back up. And yeah, this is a very tricky little puzzle we've got going on here. And it involves timing too, because you got the phantoms hanging around the area. And they are always trouble, as you know. So I think this is going to be pretty smooth. There we go. Alright, now uh, the triangle crystal is still hanging around the uh, pedestal that we left it at, so we are still golden. 
As long as you plop it into the safe zones, you will be a happy camper, and uh, uh, I'm going to go around this way, because he is going to be going around that way. Now, this this is the thing that I said you could drop the Phantom out of existence with, but obviously I didn't really need that, but it's pretty handy to actually have, since so you can run through here without timing yourself with the Phantom, but, well... Obviously, I didn't need it, but that was the thing that I uh, opened up with that eye switch, and I'm going to be seen, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 that's right. So, you go down, so I'm going up, and thus I am going here. Now, I'm going to put them in order here, because there's actually something if you put them in, in a odd order. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, this temple has a lot of secrets. Let's put it that way. Now, uh, I'm on my map. I guess I'm going to mark... There is an eye over here. And a s I guess you could say switch over here. I don't want to kind of differentiate it from the uh, circle mark on my other map there. And I guess I'll say that there's a trap door hole right there, I think it was. But okay. So yeah. Pull off of the three crystals on the pedestals. Now we go through here. And... It appears we have come to another dead end. Set the crystals on the pedestals in this order. Oh no, we haven't come to a dead end. Square, circle, triangle. Going down, the exit is this way. So, uh, yes, remember this, well, actually I should mark it on my map. Square, circle, triangle. Uh, if you put the... Hey Link, I'm curious about what the Fallen Explorer said too. Well, let's check out this room first. Oh, I guess I can't do that just yet, can I? Well... Up here is another piece of our sea charts. Well, you know, another sea chart. <laughs> Ooh, southeast sea chart, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and now we got a new area to explore. Heck yeah! You got a new sea chart. Now I can explore even more of the sea. Okay, Link, where do you want to go now? Want to try with that Fallen Explorer mansion? Do you have enough time? I'm not sure if I have enough time, in all honesty. But yeah, there's more floors to explore in the f in this place. Yeah, this is a pretty big dungeon. And what did you say the order was? Uh, square, circle, triangle. Okay. So I, I definitely want to come back through here every, t every run I come through here. But yeah, square, circle, triangle. Make sure to mark this on your map. Square, circle, triangle. Good. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess it's good, I guess. Maybe. Sort of, kind of. So yeah, you, we just witnessed them falling out of their pedestals for some random reason. I don't know why they do that when you leave rooms and come back, but they do. <laughs> but alright, we are done here. And I'll come back when I have more time on the Phantom Hourglass. Sound good? Okay. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.